So here we're in the same uh, Apache Ridge neighborhood. Uh, we're looking at a, a coarse uh, grain view of the fuel model, 30 meter resolution. Very pixelated because we are zoomed into this uh, roughly two mile uh, wide uh, area. And so we'll go ahead and look at the difference of spread rate as we say start a fire uh, in this area here. Kind of the cigarette butt off of I-25 incident. Uh, someone throws a cigarette out. And we can kind of look at the different uh, spread rates of these uh, different fuels. Uh, this type, uh, this type of fuel, uh, it burns a little bit quicker, and this is a time two, and we can start putting down our uh, uh, select the bomber or tanker, and put down a, uh, a intended path. Maybe make an X here at the head. When we were talking to uh, one of the firefighters, uh, they said they like the basically it creates a, a bigger area here uh, as you have an overlap. Uh, I don't know how you might like to teach that. So you can see that this actually was started first, but in this lighter blue fuel type, it's burning a lot slower than that. So I, we, we feel pretty comfortable that this is calibrated nicely now. Um, so one of the things we'd like you to take a look at when you play with it um, is we're, we're playing a different uh, uh, fuel moisture content, and so we'd like kind of maybe some feedback from you of how you'd like to uh, indicate different uh, fuel moisture or, or look at the fuel moisture we have on this one and uh, validate that this uh, is kind of the spread rate you'd be expecting. Uh, so again, as you see up here, you're seeing different shapes to the fire as it consumes different types of fuel, uh, something that might be good to you know, uh, teach students on. And so here you now see the, uh, the crew, their production rate. Uh, we'll make this a little bit bigger. It's, it's kind of hard to pick up, especially on the camera, but visibly we can see it pretty well got this gray intended line and this is where the actual production is uh, being completed. And the, um, there's, like we said before, there's a one hour delay on the, the bomber getting there and that's a variable. And then when it turns, what color? When it turns blue, it, it it's there. Okay, so it's already there. So, so let's uh, read. Yeah, let's look it up. I'll speed up time here, or you can pause time too and still be in interactive on the. So right now we're going at about every second is about a minute here. So we're about uh, seven hours into this, and it's a five-acre fire. We got about ten minutes. And we're right now looking at the fuel layer, but we can also turn off the fuel layer and look at different GIS layers depending on what you wanted to pick. One could be like, say, uh, put some housing or streets on there, especially if it's important, uh, you know, where to set up, say, an anchor point uh, against this road here. Something that so what we see happened here is we got uh, a delay of about an hour. Yes, it's just a one-hour delay on that. Uh, for the, you can see how it consumed that. Uh, All the bomber line does code. is delay the fire there for one and hour. And that's a and variable, right uh, so we can change that to, uh, you know, whatever uh, makes more sense. But now you can see that that fire again slowed down into uh, the, the blue. So I think that that gives you guys a pretty good idea of where we're at. And and uh, we'll uh, <laughs> let's get on a conference call on Monday, Tuesday. I'll send an email to confirm that and uh, talk about um, how this is working and, and uh, what you may need and um, how we can go forward. Thanks, guys. Thanks.